Welcome back to another chemistry tutorial. Today, we're going to be doing rate of reaction. What I've got set up here is an example of a mechanism. The steps a reaction goes through on its way from going to start to finish. This would be the first step, the second step, and the third step of this three-step reaction. What is the reaction? We're going to pour this 2,000 milliliters of green water through these steps and into this, and we're going to figure out how long it takes to do that. We're going to calculate its rate. Now, since I'm going to pour in 2,000 milliliters, we'll figure out how many seconds it takes to go through, and then we'll calculate the rate in how many milliliters go through per second. Okay, are we ready? Keep an eye on the stopwatch right here. And go! Now, as I pour it in, I want to make sure that none of the funnels overfill, because that would be skipping a step, and we don't want that to happen. Yay! Whoops! Woo! Almost overfilled that one. Almost there. Oh, almost overfill it again. And get ready to stop. And not yet. Stop. Okay, how many seconds is that? 36. 36 seconds. So it took 36 seconds for this 2,000 milliliters to pass through these three steps. Now, which of these steps actually held the reaction back? In other words, the rate determining step. Which funnel, if I could find a way to get rid of, would make the reaction go so much faster? What do you guys think? The middle one. You guys agree the middle one? Okay, so let's do that. Let's add a chemical called a catalyst. What catalysts do is they remove steps from the mechanism without getting used up, and watch what happens when we remove this step from the mechanism. We're going to straight off now and pour this 2,000 milliliters in one more time. Okay, we all reset? Okay, here we go. In five, four, three, two, one, go! Now, same deal as before, I want to make sure that none of the funnels overfill. Okay, we're almost done, not quite. All right, finger on the button. Now. 20 seconds. 20 seconds. Where's my boot? There it is. 20 seconds. Now, that means that removing this one step almost doubled the rate of our reaction. The reaction took almost half as much time to take place just by removing that one step. That's the power of a catalyst. That's what a catalyst will do for you. Now, what if you want to slow the reaction down? What if that's too fast for you? What if you want to slow it down? Well, one way we could slow it down is by adding extra steps to the mechanism. Now, the step we're going to add to this mechanism is going to be brought to us by a chemical called an inhibitor. And the inhibitor will slow the reaction down by adding steps to the reaction. I'm going to make the inhibitor the first step. What do you think this is going to do? <laughs> Boop! All right, now we're going to do the same thing, right? <laughs> Except this time, I'm going to put myself in a little bit of pain for the sake of science. Okay, are we reset? Yeah. Okay. In five, four, three, two, one, go. seconds. So 60 plus 50 is 90. 1 minute 54, 94 seconds. 
So take a look at that. Putting this stupid little thing in there, our base rate was 36 seconds. This more than doubled the amount of time this reaction took to happen. So that's what an inhibitor does. An inhibitor makes a reaction go slower by adding an extra step. Let's calculate the rate and see what that comes out to. For the first one, 2,000 divided by 36 gives us a rate of 55.52 sig figs, 56 milliliters per second. So every second we can expect 56 milliliters to pass through into the other beaker. 2,000 divided by 20. For the catalyst, that was a flat 100 milliliters per second. And I can't believe I needed a calculator to figure that out. 2,000 divided by 20. 100. Uh, okay, let's try the next one. 2,000, we'll divide that by 94. That comes out to the two sig figs, 21 milliliters per second. So, check it out. As the amount of time it takes increases, 20, 36, 94, the rate decreases, 100, 56, 21. Don't confuse time and rate. They're not the same thing. They're the opposite of each other. The more time it takes, the slower the rate. And the less time it takes, the faster the rate. And that's how mechanism and reaction rate work, and how adding a catalyst to an inhibitor can change your reaction rate from the base rate of your reaction. That's it.